going to be exciting to watch. You got two strong teams going head to head, but at the end of the day, it's going to be who wants it more. And we have a good taste of what's happened to us over the past couple of years. We're going to try to go out and play hard as we can. We want it bad, so it's going to be close. We're hungry too. Whatever I have, you'll see it. Well, you can see Yeah, rich taste of bitterness in my mouth. Last conference. Wala nang mas gugutom pa sa pagkapanala ko ni Jaren. Nothing drives me more than the thrill of competition. We're ready. It's gonna be a war. I want to end my career with the championship with all of your help. Part of my goal was to motivate the team. I got them all fired up. Bendem with a steal. Bendem to Arpadi. And Antigaras will finish the play. Kabagot on the move. Finds Danny I. And Danny in the points is scoring back to back. Basket for himself. We saw the real San Miguel team today. That's what happens when you're not ready and you're playing a team as tough and as talented as San Miguel. Then you get an old fashioned ass whooping. Our butts got kicked real bad by San Miguel. Now it's uh, incumbent upon us to make some counts uh, on Sunday. That's what the series is all about. Pero hindi pa tapos yan. And I think yung pressure nasa kanila. What a serve for three. Yes, sir! And here comes Antiveros all alone! And the back fires the three. Yes, sir! We can expect a great war on Sunday. But tonight, it matters less the talk in Texas still ahead two games to one. It matters more na nakaisa na ang San Miguel. How a series will change, how, it's, how it has changed, with one win by the Beermen, nagbago bigla ang tema. The big difference between a 3-0 series and a 2-1 affair in San Miguel. They feel that they're back in business and they feel that the pressure is now on Talking Tex. Magandang gabi po sa kanilang lahat. This is the PBA Finals live on Solar TV. Miko Halili kasama to Jason Webb and Ato Agustin. Nap dapat narinig nyo. Very confidently saying, Aba sila ang pressure, hindi kami. Agree? Simple lang yun. That's what you call coaching. Just putting that pressure on the other side. Even if the other side might not realize it, na may pressure sa kanila to hold on to this advantage, which is now 2-1, and make it 3-1, talking about talk and text. But when you let it be known by the press that it's the other team that has pressure, you're playing tricks on the minds of maybe the players of the other team. And you know, Ato Gusin is not, is not the only individual in San Miguel Rap na magaling sa ganyang tinatawag na Saiwar. You know, Arwin Santos is also quite the Saiwar expert. He's very quiet, very unassuming. Hindi mo napapansin, but he's already killing you on, in so many departments. He's like the supermodel version of Harvey Gary <laughs> on a South Beach diet. <laughs> on a South Beach yes, diet, that is Miguel. right. <laughs> <laughs> but Arvin Santos, uh, he's a guy that has done it all for their team. He does it on offense, he scores, he gets rebounds. But the one thing that he failed to do in the first two games, shoot the ball well. Finally, in game number three, in that victory, itong si Arwin Santos finally shot the ball well and shot it well from three-point region. There's one thing with Arwin Santos that you have to watch out for. If you're a San Miguel fan, he cannot, he cannot fall in love with that three-point shot too much. Okay, ito, no, iisa-isay natin yung mga uh, pivotal uh, beer men uh, that were responsible for bringing San Miguel back. Even the beer, even beer men or, uh, who, you know, some people feel that, you know, Jay Washington should be having like a monster uh, series. Uh, nangako siya, nagsabi siya, nagbanta, in fact, na I have something to prove against this team, this old team of mine. Uh, are you so far satisfied, maybe even impressed, with the numbers that he's putting up in the series? Well, you know, when you, when you say something like that, especially to the press, you really put pressure on yourself and you almost say that, put the spotlight on me. The problem is, once the spotlight is on you, how do you react? In the first two games of this series, let's go it one by one. Game one, itong si Jay Washington, kin ramps. So he did not, was not able to perform the way that they wanted him to perform. In game number two, he was decent. But in game number three, although he scored only 10 points, ang nakita natin sa kanya, he was finally aggressive and finally throwing his weight around. Why? Because he was able to get 
15 rebounds in that game and actually had two block shots. So he not only did it on offense, he finally did it on defense. Yeah, going back to uh, game uh, number uh, three, a double-double is a double-double. I mean, no, no matter uh, what you say. Uh, okay. Let's go to the other side. other side of the story. Pocket text. They were going for a 3-0 lead. Didn't happen. Uh, all eyes were on Jason Castro. Depensa ng uh, San Miguel, nakatutok kay Jason Castro. At Augustine saying, what about Jimmy Alapag? Alapag is hurting, hurting San Miguel. It's Castro who's hurting San Miguel. Maybe Alapag took it personally. Was very offensive-minded. I don't know if it worked out for talking text in game number three. You remember, in game number three, most of the points of Jimmy Alapag came in that first quarter. Yep. After that, he disappeared. These two guys, obviously, in that game without Ryan Reyes, there was a lot of responsibility put on their shoulders. They did produce. They were the top scorers for their team. The problem was when the ball had to, when they have, were forced to become the scorers too much and the ball had to stick with their hands a little bit too much longer than it usually does, now wala sa we show yung, uh, the rest of the talking text both files. And obviously, if you're talking text right now, what you want to see is, talk, is a talking text type of game where the ball moves around when Jimmy is the facilitator and a guy like Jason Castro is a guy that comes in and brings you. 20 minutes of high octane offense. You know, without question, number one, Pocket Tech is just a better team when that ball is being shared. Number two, they certainly miss the presence of Ryan Reyes in game number three. Now, Ryan is back tonight. Kung ano ang kondisyon ng kanyang, uh, his, his, his emotions, uh, yung kanyang uh, mindset for the game, yan ang ating malalaman tonight. One obviously is the emotional one, the mental one. The other, Miko, the physical. This guy is coming off Two flights in a span of just a couple of days. One going to the States and the one other one going back to the Philippines. Here's the productions in games number one and two. Ten points, three rebounds, three and a half assists. And the big thing here, two and a half steals. When you look at Talk and Text and you talk about Ryan Reyes, Ryan Reyes is their number one energy guy. He's their number one defender at the wing. And the one thing that Talk and Text missed, nung nawala si Ryan Reyes in game number three, a two guard that could bring down the ball para pag the defense hand si Jimmy Alapag or si Jason Castro they don't lose out because when you have a Ryan Reyes that's a combo guard that can play like a point guard you don't lose out uh, and now let's bring in our second panel uh, you know Jason and I will look at the game from one vantage point and our second panel will look at the game from another vantage point para talagang mahimay natin ang gusto itong uh, game number four uh, Paolo Trillo and uh, Coach Ryan Gregorio uh, are at court side uh, oh, Coach Ryan, uh, kamusta? Alam ko, uh, lumaban kayo sa Cebu, uh, you're heading your Maracu Bolts, uh, how was it? Well, we're getting ready definitely for the next conference. Our uh, import finally arrived yesterday but he was not able to join us uh, in Cebu. And hopefully with Sol Mercado, of course, teaming up with Chris Ross, Ma uh, Mark Cardona. And the others, hopefully, will have a better finish in the next conference. Yun na ba ang bagong uh, pangalan ni Mark, ha? Mark? Yun na ang bago, ha? Yun ang gusto niyang itawag sa kanya dito sa darating na konferensya. <laughs> May halte pag-usapan kung bakit, Paolo, take it away. Alright, salamat, uh, Miko and uh, Jason. Of course, I'm with the uh, head coach of Meralco, Ryan Gregorio. Coach, you've been in the finals before, so you'll be able to give us your inputs coming to this ball game. Unahin muna natin yung San Miguel Beer coming off a win in that pivotal game three. And... Uh, one major reason for that one was their defense. Well, for one, Coach Chotre has described this team that uh, they have better offensive horses. So it's really up for San Miguel to do their thing on the defensive end. They started talking about defense after they lost game one. Game two happened, still defense was not there. But finally, game three, they limited talking text to 82 points per game. Destroyed the rhythm offensively, shot 38% or allowed 38%, had a big difference on the rebounding end, plus 16. And most importantly, the up-tempo game, the triple drive penetration that talking text is really known for was not just evident in game three. Well, it's getting noisy here inside the big dome. Kakalabas lang ng uh, talking text. Uh, phone calls right behind us, uh, the Tropang Texters. And uh, one reason why this game, uh, game three, was so intense was uh, team leader of, of San Miguel Beer, Olsen Rasella, of course, had a very inspirational speech before that ball game. And let's listen in uh, to this interview. I would uh, never ever play for another team other than uh, San Miguel. I'm going to end my, my career with. Uh, San Miguel, uh, thank you very much. Special mention to the two Dannys who I played with for the longest time. 
Uh, let's make one more run and it starts tonight. I want to end my, uh, my career with the championship with your help. Rara Rasel, of course, giving the beermen an extra lift. Uh, Coach Ryan, how important is it for you have a, you have a veteran, a player like uh, Rara Rasel, telling his team, "I want to end with a championship." Very big. Well, definitely. When you go into this final series, these two teams have distinguished themselves as the best teams, both offensively and defensively. That's why they're here. So you look for your emotional edge. And in the first two games, Tokantex probably had it because of uh, the Ryan Reyes situation. But come game three, with that speech of uh, Rasella, all of, the, all of a sudden, the tables were changed. And that really was the cue for the other players to really play with tremendous passion, tremendous energy to walk out with a victory. So now you have both sides with motivation to play and something has got to give. One player in particular, uh, Coach Ryan, in that ball game, who was very, uh, you could see it in his face in the interview after the ball game, he was very touched by what Olsen said. Parang part, naging partner niya na rin, nagkasabay sila sa San Miguel for such a long time. Of course, I'm talking about Danny Ildefonso. Well, yes, in fact, yung name ni Danny Ildefonso was definitely mentioned during the speech of Olsen Rasella and he deheaded that, that call. He had really good numbers in that particular game. In fact, he scored a total of 12 points, grabbed 10 rebounds, 6 assists, and 2 steals. What a great job para rito sa veteran na si Daniel Defonso. So Danny I still has it in him and let's see uh, what he can give his ball club here in game number 4. Meantime, meron din tayo ibang mga interview. We got to talk to some of the other uh, key uh, proponents in this series. Eh, bigyan naman ng action yan. Talagang deliberate eh, takita eh, kasi bakit hindi nila tingnan doon sa monitor? Sunday Salvacion, ang ganda ng laro niya, tapos sige, tinira ngayon, eh, putok dito sa ulo. Parang uh, pinasok lahat tayo, no, parang manira lang. Gawin namin sa kanila yun, gusto ba nila? Parang hindi tumatanggap ng pagkatalo eh. Talo lang, tapos maninira lang sila ng ganun. Parang hindi sila sports nun. Sa kami, naglalaro lang kami, pero kung yun ang gusto nila, ang ginagawa nila sa amin. Hindi kami ganun kong player, tatanggapin lang namin ang tira nila. Kami, babalik kami. Kung yun ang gusto nila, lala mo. Anytime it comes to the end of the game like that and you put in those guys, you know what I mean? That's that's what they come in and do. If they want to play like that, we can play like that too. When we were down by 20, 25 with the last 6, 7 minutes, my, my thought was already on Sunday. So I wanted to preserve my regular players. That, that's how those guys play. There wasn't any malicious intent at all. Mang nakakainit na na, Coach Ryan, both teams had something to say about that ball game ended. That is uh, what the finals is all about. Of course, you want to play tough, bordering on being rough, but definitely not dirty. So I'm sure both these teams, coaches talk to his players, just play the game the right way. All right. Well, the intensity is definitely in the air here today, and we have a lot of feedback for you. Please check us out on our PBA on Solar TV Twitter page. When we come back, we'll give you more of the details of this series. You're back with us for Game 4 of the Finals here inside the Big Dome. And our fans really getting involved. They're all here packing it up. Meron din po tayo mga fans at home or on your computers or people giving us feedback and giving us their views on this series. Let's check out now some uh, coming from our PBA on Solar TV Twitter account. Uh, let's talk about the physicality of this series from Pacheng Cabs. Sabi nga nila, basketball is a physical game. Kung ayaw masaktan, maglaro na lang ng chess. Besides, PBA is no harm, no foul. For from Corpus Jason 21, sabi niya that's part of the game. Finals na uh, finals na talaga, bukpukan na talaga. Matira matibay kumbaga. At saka yung pikon talo. From Major Vaughn, game three has definitely gone to a very physical one. Blood was shed, emotions got high. That's a sign of a very sign of a very intense series at sabi nga ni Coach Ryan kanina there's no other way to, to enter a finals it's got to be intense kung hindi hindi finals yan definitely in this game 4 because for uh, Talk and Text they want a separation win to bring them up 3-1 while for San Miguel 2-2 naman that's what they're aiming for alright meron din nagsabi na about uh, game 4 uh, views on what will affect yung factors that will affect game 4 basahin natin to Teki energy tempo intensity and defense defense wins championships that's what SMB did in Game 3. Hope they'll win here in Game 4. From Augie0803, expect to see more rough plays from both teams. Rebounding will be the key to Game 4. And 
from Chongits. It's not about the 